Hi friends, this is Gurvinder Singh and you are watching my YouTube channel Angry Science. Today we will discuss a centrifugal pump, its various parts and its working. Now, what is centrifugal pump? Centrifugal pump is that pump which working on the principle of centrifugal force and that impart a kinetic energy into the fluid due to the centrifugal force. That pump generally requires priming. So, First of all, I explain the various parts of centrifugal pump. First is discharge pipe which is connected on the discharge side and discharge valve which is also connected on the discharge pipe. Then rotor. The rotor is the main rotating part inside the casing of centrifugal pump and it is having an eye. Now volute casing. The name is given volute casing because of its volute in shape. You can see here area is increasing slowly slowly that's why it's known as volute casing suction pipe that is connected to the suction side of the pump and tank where the water will suck by the pump now i will explain how the centrifugal pump will work as i i already stated that that the centrifugal pump requires priming the priming means it's casing and suction side need to be filled with the water for that we have a one plug one plug on casing we will open that and fill that casing with the water so that its air is removed from the casing and the suction side so what will happen when this casing having a water and suction side having a water now this rotor is rotating in that direction so what will happen whatever the water is here in the eye so it is coming here and it is rotating rotor is rotating in that direction so it will try to push the water outside so due to this when it push the water outside here in the case in the eye of the pump the vacuum will created when the vacuum created so vacuum means the pressure reduces below atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure is generally 1 bar so it may be reduced to 0.3 bar 0.2 bar so here pressure is 0.2 bar and here is pressure is atmospheric pressure that is 1 bar and we know that the liquid is always flow from high pressure to the low pressure due to this pressure difference the liquid start moving or water start moving from tank to the eye now what the rotor actually do rotor impart a kinetic energy into the kinetic energy into the fluid 1 by 2 mb square mass and velocity speed of the pump square so when the kinetic energy is imparted into the uh, liquid so it start moving outside now the fluid case come into action what it will do it will reduce the velocity of the liquid and increase its pressure now the fluid casing increase its pressure before the pressure is atmospheric pressure that is 1 bar and now it is increasing to 2 bar 3 bar and here at the discharge side the pressure is atmospheric pressure that is 1 bar now here the pressure is increased by the fluid casing is more than the pressure at the discharge side so that the water start moving towards the casing this is the working of centrifugal pump so now i will explain what is priming and why the centrifugal pump require priming for that i will take this equation that is centrifugal force centrifugal force equation that is told us that mass into scale of speed of rotor into radius of rotor radius of rotor so what will happen actually when we do the priming what we will do we actually do uh, doing uh, remove the air whatever the air is in the system that air we remove so that we done with the help of the water now why the pump is not able to suck the air from the suction pipe so i will explain why it is we know that the mass of the air is very less and its dense density generally one and uh, consider the v is 
some speed of the pump and r is some radius now you can see the centrifugal force for air is b square r for air now i will take water in case of water the water density is 1000 and b square r now you can see in case of water it is 1000 time more than the air so the centrifugal force is acting in water is more 1000 time more as compared to the airs that's why so that the centrifugal uh, force is not able to suck the air in case of pump that's why this pump is required priming thank you hope you, hope you like this video